Welcome to Xbox Uncut, episode 203. If you can't tell, I got a cold. Jason gave it to me. And I gave it to him. Yay. <laughs> that son of a bitch. But I'm going to try to pull this off. Uh, sadly, we do Just not like have... Just like at the movie theater. No. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Although I'm never allowed to, to go back out. to that theater again. <laughs> but <laughs> this week we have the wonderful Will. What's up, Will? Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, not much, not much. Thanks for having me. We'll have Steph in a couple minutes. He's uh, taking care of his kids. And we'll be able to talk. I don't think he's heard really anything about the news today about, you know, all these reviews and what's going on salt. with the Xbox One X. Fucking salt. So much salt, you get to walk on the fucking water, dude. It's just... yeah. <laughs> we also have Jason. Welcome to the show, Jason. You already, you already introduced me. Did I? I introduced yeah, Will. Said I never I introduced give you. Yeah, I you the cold. <laughs> well, no, I just said you you gave me a cold. I never said you were on the show. This is where you leave. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess I'm on the show now. Hi, guys. Ages. <laughs> and Steph yeah. will be here eventually. One day. One day. And again, I apologize. I know I sound like crap. I'm trying to. We'll try to do this. Yeah, Happy right. Friday! <clears throat> from the well, I can really get above this level. This is it. <laughs> Happy payday for me. Happy All spend right. $500 on a console day. Yeah. Yeah, right. Or in our case, $1,000. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, if you, have, you mean like with the uh, TV or whatever? Well, two. we're buying two Xbox Ones. Between us. Oh. So oh, okay, I gotcha. About a grand. Oh, I All right, you. so <laughs> I kind of want to like these news articles. Today's show is going to be a li little different. We're not going to do the same old because there was not a lot of news. To be honest with everybody, it, it not a lot of news that wasn't you know, hey, this is what the Xbox One X is doing, and this is how it's running, and this is what we thought. It's more so. Salt. It's not. We don't really have a lot of articles to go through. We're going to talk about what happened, like with Digital Foundry and everybody else. But, like I'm saying, we just don't have kind of slides or anything to go over with it, like we usually do. But I do have a couple news stories I wanted to talk about. Uh, <laughs> now, VG247, uh, your Xbox One now has qu a quest system. That will offer rewards for compelling small ch co for completing small challenges. Xbox Quest will offer unique challenges each month with rewards offered up to anyone able to complete them. Expect these rewards to be very minor. The barriers for victory is very low this month, but there's also the possibility of winning something bigger. Right now, Microsoft is giving away a 55-inch Samsung 4K TV to one winner per month, but that's a large pool to pull from, Daddy. You need to remember the Xbox Live Gold to access these challenges, but you don't need to activate them or anything. They kick off automatically each month. For Nev November, the challenges are as follows. Log in to your Mixer app on Xbox One on five different days. Increase your gamer score by 400 points. Download two games with gold. <coughs> I'm sorry. The games of gold one should be really easy to do. You know, this is for Xbox Live Gold members anyway. So just pop, uh, what, what are the games? Uh, Trackmania just came out, downloaded that. Uh, you know, there there's four of them a month. So just even if you, you know, aren't going to play them, go ahead and download them. Get your name in the bucket. Um, but even increasing your game score by 400 points... If you haven't finished one like a Telltale game, that's very easy to do. Just go run through there. You'll get 400 points in a matter of minutes. Well, do one playthrough, I should be honest. And to log in on Mixer app on Xbox One for five different days, that's extremely easy. So, I recommend everybody doing it. Hopefully, one of our listeners wins a big old Samsung 4K TV. Hopefully, I win it. <laughs> Fuck the well, oh wait, did I say that? 
Oh, uh, Psychotron in our chat said he's done all three already, so I mean, he has a good chance. Hey, this is cool. I like that it's integrated into the uh, Stop competing the with dash. your Psychotron. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's cool. I like that it's integrated into the dashboard, and you can kind of go from there and do what you have to do. I mean, it, it's a little, I mean, I don't know, it's very chorish, but I guess that's the point, you know? <laughs> All right, let's go to the next little bit of news. And like I said, these we're going to kind of transition <laughs> into other topics as we're going through these. Um, go right into The Witcher 3 and the enhancements Stole my comment will <laughs> Stole my Think, comment thinking alike so we're looking at improved <laughs> texture fil uh filtering ambient occlusion high quality shadows a 4k image i mean there's a if you go on the news.xbox.com there's a great article about it uh, where they really get in deep exactly with how they're running the xbox one x and how it they could start it on the, the original Xbox. I know Jason's been waiting to play this since the very beginning. Um, like, with an improved performance. Especially because, like, in the Swamp level and a few different other spots, it ran <laughs> fairly rough. I mean, yeah, uh, I've been... I mean, I was, I've was. i been waiting, really, ever since I've known the Xbox One X was going to come out waiting on Witcher 3 to play Witcher 3 because it was kind of like I know it's a great game to play now and there's really no excuse but it's just like why not just wait and play it in 4K <laughs> <laughs> yeah a lot of games are like that lately like a lot of uh, wait for the X type of thing it makes yeah, me sad that games like Mass Effect Andromeda will likely never get enhanced and... I know a lot of games man that they're kind of like just for some reason just got passed over I guess because of the you know the, the you know corporate bullshit that went on with like the mass effects and stuff well, like dev that made andromeda doesn't even exist anymore like, yeah exactly that that's the kind of thing the developer yeah so i mean i mean i think i think they had dynamic resolution so i i, I think it may top at 1080 but i'm not 100 percent on, on that one um this this witcher 3 enhancement is pretty it's pretty awesome though it's, it's well above the ps4 Pro, you know, patch which was just uh like a what was a hundred megabyte patch that just kind of gave it a checkerboard rendering that yeah uh, raised it up to like yeah it's like oh, what was it that uh is it fourteen hundred or eight sixteen I don't know I forget the resolution but now I'm gonna say this and don't anyone take it the wrong way I don't think it was just like people well for one a lot of PlayStation fanboys were like oh they'll never support they'll never go out of way just to update games for Xbox they wouldn't even do it for the Pro. But here's the thing. The reason they're doing it now is because both systems are out. It's not yeah. specifically because of the Xbox, and it's not specifically because of the PlayStation. It's because now both consoles are out. And there's a real reason now that, you know, with both of them, there should be a large enough audience to make it worth it, you know? Yeah. Plus, I mean, you also have Microsoft support behind modifying the games now, too. Yeah, it's what's interesting is that it has enhancements both ways. Like even unpatched as the uh, what do you call it? the dynamic resolution on Witcher Three, and plus the uh, anisotropic filtering, which uh, really like we, if you've seen the Halo Five one, it's insanely good. It's like it really clear, clears up the textures. Uh, it's it's an awesome upgrade. Which we could just bring up kind of the next article. The Xbox One X patch for Halo Five will be ready at launch. So, <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. But yeah, it looks gorgeous in 4K. Um, so yeah, it's not getting HDR. Uh, they were talking about how it, it would take a lot of work to add HDR for the fact that when the original, <laughs> if you ever played through it, you know the two different teams have a different color spectrum that mm -hmm. they're kind of dealing with. Master Chief's core, I think, isn't Master Chief blue and then Locke is red or something like that? And Yeah, it messes kinda... with the internal color range somehow. And then, like, yeah. When a game's not built for it, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's I mean. It messes with it. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's still, you're going to get the HD, I mean, the, um, what do you call it, the 4K, like, color bump either way and like the 4k it's awesome um 
Yeah, I'm really glad this one got patched day one because this is like one of those games people should really try out. Because um, the the art was kind of hindered by the muddiness of the dynamic resolution, which is a smart idea to impl- implement, really. But it's uh, definitely like the way it should be played, and uh, I like how they uh, showed the you know like the Digital Foundry showed the comparisons between uh, the the Xbox One X um, unpatched versus the uh, the Xbox One uh, S version, which is really cool. Um, and then I think there's a video out there. Uh, Tim posted it today. I think it was of uh, the actual 4K version, which is which is amazing too. I heard something stupid today watching these reviews, and it was I think I think it was Windows Central. They were like, 4K is not that big of a deal. Like it really doesn't change much. It's really not much of a difference. HDR is huge though. It's gigantic. It's clear. It's night and day. And I'm sitting there going, "You guys are so full of shit." <laughs> <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. HDR is a big difference, mm-hmm. but at the same time, 4K is a huge difference. I don't, I don't understand it. Like, we'll get into this. Like, this, I don't know what's going on with the media right now, especially with a lot of these reviews. Like, it's, it's, it's almost. It's almost as if these reviewers are like, you know, um, feel backstabbed or something. It's it's like they have a grudge or something. It's kind of it's really odd. I don't yeah, know. It's, we'll it's get a little, into it. Yeah, it's a it little scatter shot. Yeah, it's a little scatter shot. Yeah, it's a little. Uh oh, echo. Yeah, I heard that too. <laughs> uh, but uh, what was it also I say? Oh yeah, the you do still have the thirty frames a second animations though, from what I've seen of the four K footage. So I don't know. I think that that's. I that's think that's built into the yeah. engine. I don't think that's some. Unfortunately, that might not be something they can easily change. Yeah, unless it gets like a like a, like unless you play it in like on a good like future CPU, it'll, it'll probably maybe even if it even gets patched for, for that. But yeah, yeah. But I'm not too worried about it. It's like the game came out. Oh, the game's been out how long now? Shit. Yeah, it's well over uh, yeah, two, two years. years. Two years. It's yeah. like, uh, I'm not, like, what I care about is playing, like, just to see how great that game looks, playing Warzone, Firefight Warzone, and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Um, that's going to be amazing. Like, a lot of people that I've read playing it, like on uh, Reset Era, which, mm-hmm. by the way, is a new gaff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. A lot of them have been saying it's really night and day, like Halo 5 and Gears 4. Like, they are... Just Halo 5 by itself is just night and day. And from the screens I've seen, I, I, I can't argue with them. Like, the detail increase is absolutely mind-boggling. Like, just the gun itself, it goes from being, like, a mess almost to Claire, you know, like, putting on glasses. You know? Exactly. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's so great to have these f- first-party games look their best on a console that's uh, so powerful, so you can get the full result. Um, and they actually do compare a little bit better to like you know PlayStation exclusives because they obviously had had a, a, you know a leg up on them since the original PS4 Pro. So uh, it's nice. It's a nice bit of catch up in that regard. Yeah, and um, good on Microsoft. Like you can really tell the amount of work they've put into this. Like with the map getting done on on the days before launch, like with the, I didn't know anything about these, like, thir- you know, 360 games getting 4K updates or anything like that. Like, you could tell there was real work done and communication with developers mm-hmm. to get stuff ready. And it, it, it really, it really goes, he- um, it kind of bud- bumps head or, you know, however you want to say it with some of the media reporting, because some of the media are making it sound like there's only, like, five enhanced games and that, you know, that's it or something. Like, mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, I mean, as far as you got it right now, because they're not all released yet, I mean. Yeah, they were reviewed too early. Um, November 7th, by the time the actual, like, uh, core audience, like, the, the mainstream audience gets it, it'll be definitely more games uh upgraded and enhanced so i mean that that's the only unfortunate thing it's like this i think the xbox one x unfortunately had like a little too late of a release date i think it should have been a little bit earlier that kind of sucks um 
But you know, over time, there, I'm sure there'll be like more reports and stuff like that. Digital well, Foundry's gonna have a field day with this stuff. The funny thing is, Digital Foundry's been like they've honestly, Digital Foundry and Gamerside have been probably the best coverage. Absolutely. And Digital Foundry, they haven't brought up any. Like they didn't bring up like, oh, you know, well they did, you know, go, you know, there's not many games just yet mm-hmm. because you know they're slowly bringing them out for the launch. But they didn't sit there and dwell on it and go like, you know, there ain't nothing to play on it, like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like, you know, there, it, it, it's just, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they, they're covering a lot of good bases. I really like that they, um, covered the unpatched, uh, Xbox 360 and Xbox One, uh, games. So they showed, like, like, like we talked about earlier, the, the, Unity. the filtering. Uh, yeah, that was interesting as well. Uh, and, uh, Just Cause, those are interesting cases. I, I mean, I kind of figured it would, I, I thought it would be a little bit better, you know, a little bit better if it was, and it is. But uh, you know, it's you can you kind of have to take what you can get <laughs> with this. Just how these two really games. optimized just because it's like yeah. it's just yes, it's CPU bound and mm-hmm. the CPU bump isn't that great. But I mean, damn. <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> like how bad. poorly optimized does your game have to be? Like, geez, like especially with games like you know, Gears with all the shit that happens on screen on that game and like. The amount of shit that happens on screen in like Halo Five with Warzone and mm-hmm. those games can manage to get a solid sixty. Um, and there's plenty of games that do tons of shit on screen and don't have the problems just because has. It's just really poor optimization. Um, yeah, and there's still a bunch of games I'm very curious about, like um, the like certain games have like some settings that you could tweak like uh i i know the sniper uh elite i think was it three the one that learned like world war ii in a desert um that one has like yeah like an uncapped i think it has an uncapped frame rate and v-sync so you can toggle those on and off i'd be very curious to see how the x handles that one um well the interesting thing is that some of these games that with uncapped frame rates on the xbox one basically double their frame rate unpatched yeah. on xbox one x yeah, that's like cool. they're going from thirty to jumping up straight sixty. <laughs> yeah, like, damn. Yeah, it's cool because according like to your machine, like depending on how how good it is, it'll, it'll like you know it'll try to maintain the, the highest. You know, I mean, depending on the load, of course, too. But like that's it's, it's a really cool feature because they did that also with uh, Bioshock Infinite uh, when they ran that on Xbox One X. I mean, I'm sorry, the Xbox Xbox One emulation, which is really cool. Yeah, I had like a Doom is running what full 1080p. Yep. Yeah, so you're still getting the benefits either, even if you don't have the patches for the 4K or you have a 1080p TV, you're still getting awesome like upgrades. So that, that's in and of itself is is really really cool. Well, that's what I don't get about part of the argument is like, well, part of the argument is you know there's nothing to play on it, but it's like it's not a new console. Like this is well, it is a new console, but it's not a new generation. Mm-hmm. It's not as if this is uh okay, we're starting back from zero thing. Like there's nothing to play on. I get the I understand the I want something like a um a flagship title for the console. Yeah. Although I could I could argue four to seven is a flagship title. But you could also argue that four to seven's an its game, and that's perfectly fine. But at the yeah. same time, it's like <laughs> if you're the kind of person buying an Xbox One X, games like Call of Duty, World War Two, Star Wars Battlefront Two um, you know, shit like that. Like, those are prospects for games to, you know, a reason to buy an Xbox One X, like playing those games in 4K, um, or as high as they can possibly be played. Uh, exactly. I mean, there are showcase titles for, like, third party, of course. Um, it was just a little disappointing. Like, it's just disappointing not to see, like, like a whole range of uh, first party new titles. I, I've kind of had that little argument over Twitter, uh, which is like, not argument, just kind of a back and forth. Uh, I was like, uh, I kind of wish they had more uh, of their own titles to show off this stuff. I mean, Forza is a great um, title to showcase, of course. Uh, but like you said, Jason, it's like uh, it depends on if you're into racing, and there, it's it's a little easier to to show off the racing games. But uh, I mean, uh, w- hopefully, with the the newer titles this, in 2018, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll get a a nice uh, a better little showcase. But it's still it's still a little hard because the art style also you know kind of uh, is is mixed in with that. Like you have to kind of take that into account 
like State of Decay Two is, is it looks 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 a little weird. It looks almost like like clay. <laughs> like it's, it's it's weird. Um, and then uh, Sea of Thieves is like cartoony, but then the Crackdown is also a little bit cartoony. So it, it'll be a little harder with those. But uh, I mean, the yeah. clarity is gonna look awesome at least. So. Well, with the games being delayed too, it gives them time to enhance those games and get them looking a bit better. Yeah. Um. Uh. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I get it. And it's funny, I, I'm actually actively having an argument with a guy on Reddit about it. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, but Sony's got this major lineup. And I'm like, what's their major lineup right now? Gran Turismo Sport? And yeah. I'm, and by the way, I'm talking about right now, this year, this this holiday. What are, yeah. what, are, what, are, what, are, what are we talking about here? And right now, Sony's big game, basically their only first party game right now for the holiday is GT Sport. Um, and on Microsoft's side, it's Forza 7. I mean, <laughs> and right. at the same time, and you know, this is no excuse. This is no excuse whatsoever. But PS4 also didn't have any first-party launch titles. No, for PS4 not, Pro. Not at time of release. Yeah, you're, um, you're right. I, I think, like the I said, it's not an excuse, though. But. Right. Yeah. What's up, I sir? think the problem. What's up? What's good? I think the problem is is just that everybody is looking at how like how it appears. The console is outside of third-party games. They don't. They when they picking up, you picking up the X. Everybody's expecting like some huge, huge first-party games. Not just like one or two or three. They're like like with Sony, you can see all of these games coming. Paris Games Week just happened. Same thing happened last year when freaking uh they had PSX, which hasn't happened yet this year. So I think people are you know. When they're when they're saying all this shit, where are, where are all the games? Blah blah blah. You know, they're 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 looking at. On but the Sony funny sides. thing is, those games aren't available yet. Not I know they're, they're not, not available, available yet. I agree. Have, I agree with they that. Don't even but have dates. Exactly. Yeah. I, I agree and with that. And they've been but... shown like, not only have the games been shown at multiple E3s, right. but like at Paris Game, uh, at the Paris Games Game Show, where mm-hmm. everyone was like, "Oh, look, they they destroyed even E3." It was like they literally showed the games they showed at E3. <laughs> yeah, I, I I feel you. I see. I feel you. But I think it's the assurance that the games are still coming, and they're and they're also adding more to, even though they haven't released the other shit. I don't. Un, I don't understand how to get away with ghost, this. But, but I mean, to be honest with you, I st- I kind of wish Microsoft would do this a couple, at least a couple, drop a few nuggets, drop drop a couple nuggets on the brother, man. Let me get a couple. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> yeah. But I think that's 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 what it is. I mean, people are looking over there and, see, and seeing what they have coming, even if it ain't coming two, three years away. The fact that knowing that it's it's coming, it, it's it's something, you know. So I, I, I don't want to even yeah. You even got Jim Ryan saying, yeah, the games don't. It doesn't matter how good the games look, or they or they don't look any different. But we got these games that you you can't even play over there. You know what I'm saying? So even though none of those games are out, you know, you got exec execs dropping the same, same shit, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know. I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it when I, when I look at my Xbox or whatever, but I can understand why well, that's somebody the thing. It's like on the it's, fence, you know, this argument is, especially for people on the fence, this argument is basically, yeah, but Sony has all these games, but then it's like, all right, I get your argument, but if you went out tomorrow and bought a PS4 pro, where are those games? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're not exactly. there. They're not they're there not. for Last of Us Two. We have no fucking clue. Death right. Stranding's twenty twenty. Right. I mean, let's be honest. Even but, Hideo Kojima said twenty twenty. But, um, but at, at Spider Man's really the big game coming up. Right. And, right. But at the at the same time, though, Jason. Oh, I get you, it. If There's, you look at just the whole year, if you look at just the whole year, they they had fucking Near Automata, Neo, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, Horizons, whatever fucking DLC expansion, Uncharted ex- expansion. I mean, there was there was quite a bit of stuff that came out th- this year. I mean, if you look at the year in a whole, you know, whereas I mean, we sitting on Cuphead. I love uh, fucking uh, what else do we have? Uh, goddamn! Oh, Forza Seven, Halo yeah. Wars Two, Halo, Halo Wars Two. Yeah. This game though, not everybody's gonna play that. You know, I mean, and, you know, a couple of other smaller things. And you know it's only with their smaller things, so it's just kind of it's kind of a small year. It's, we're scale bound and crack. Uh, I said crack. Yeah. <laughs> crack down skipped. <laughs> I mean, it left a, it left a hole, and then it's starting. It's starting to notice, man. It's just that it is what it is. What happens when you 
delay and cancel games, man. Yeah, it's a long-standing issue. I mean, it's it's nothing, not a really a new complaint. It's just kind of the the launch kind of exacerbates it a little I'm still bit. Still jelly about Nier, and it has nothing to do with about getting the game. It has to do with how they basically used all the scalebound money to finish Nair and actually took lead devs off scalebound to put on Nair. Like yeah, that that's, shit just that's still, kind of pisses me off. Yeah, that's that's still crazy to hear about. Yeah. No port in sight for the Xbox. I mean, honestly, Sony got really lucky that a lot of Sony devs were ready to release a lot of good games at the beginning of this year, and they're just not releasing them on Xbox. If it was the other way, like, if if they were actually releasing on Xbox, it wouldn't have been a big deal, but... Uh, sec, someone put a message on... Oh, no, here? it's good stuff. Just he used to take care of his kids. Oh, okay. Yeah, if... if you know, these games, these Japanese games were released on Xbox also, you know, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. And we no. would have had another year where, you know, basically neither Sony or Microsoft barely released anything. Um, yeah, it would have been a little bit more even keeled. And like, so, Ryzen Zero Dawn, like, honestly, you can, I'll put my fanboy hat on. Um, GT Sport is shit, and I don't even count it as a game. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I honestly count that shit as a fucking demo piece of shit that costs $60. It's got 100 cars in it. It, It's barely got 15 tracks. It's not worth it. It doesn't have a career mode. It's a piece of crap. I'm sorry. (laughs) Um, Horizon Zero Dawn is the real Sony game that released this year, and it deserves all the accolades it's gotten. Um, And you know what? Microsoft fucked up with Crackdown. That, That game should have released this year. Uh, and, you know, it didn't, so. But, I think, you know, Dusty will excuse me, we should probably move on to positive shit like Xbox One X. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're kind of <laughs> in it. Oh, Maybe. yeah, I know. But we kind of, uh, kind of went a little off topic there. <laughs> so. Uh, but yeah, it is awesome seeing, um, all the performance improvements. Like, especially for the Unpatched games. I uh, watched 4K video of, like, the differences between Halo 5 on uh, uh, Xbox One and Xbox One X, which was pretty amazing. Like, the difference is pretty huge. Yeah. Uh, same with, uh, basically same with all the games, to be honest. That jump from 1080p to 4K is pretty nice. Uh, it unmuddies quite a bit of stuff. Killer Instinct looks awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, that looks like clear winner um and there's games still coming out i know they released an update today for um i that would be my suggestion for people is to actively look for uh have you ready to install lists set to xbox one x enhanced and look for when they're actively jumping up there and uh you know go ahead and you know put that on both your games list and your ready to install list and you might see something that you forgot to install that could be getting an update um i also yeah. uh oh you know what uh did you see about uh how the temperature and uh sat the noise level of the xbox one x yeah it was uh I, I think it was like a little bit hotter than than the one s but like cooler than the ps pro still I, something like that I, I know it was like very uh it's barely louder than an xbox one s and it's and it's quieter than a ps4 pro yeah it's well tuned and it even though it has 40 percent more power than a ps4 pro it uses like 17 percent it only uses 17 percent more power or yeah. energy draw yeah, it's very impressive uh let's see what else what else what else did we learn today we also had um, some Super Lucky's Tale uh, reviews, but I don't know if you want to link that into the whole... Yeah, I don't even want to start that shit, because we're back <laughs> to Ryan McCaffrey. <laughs> uh, basically comparing the game to Super Mario and how anything that's not as good as Super Mario is a piece of shit. So. Uh, it's gotten good reviews, and it got bad reviews, but most of the bad reviews seem to just be like, it's not Mario. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of the common complaints is also like about the responsiveness and the camera. I, I mean, both things that can be you know pretty easily patched. Uh, just infor- maybe like unfortunate thing with with like I don't I don't think it was rushed, but I, I 
maybe needs a little bit more polish uh, for uh, for this uh, launch type of uh, lineup or whatever you you want to call it. Yeah. But, now uh, I wouldn't call it a line. Yeah, you know, that's the odd thing about this. I wouldn't call it's. This is a mid gen refresh. Yeah, mid gen relaunch. <laughs> Not like even that. a relaunch. It's just yeah. a refresh. It's yeah, it's literally. And, and it's funny because I saw the, the like um, uh, Xbox One X. Microsoft explains who this is for, and it's like, I agree with the people in the subreddit. It's for the people that want to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> literally there for people that want an option of a more powerful console yeah and you got a lot of people buying it just because of the performance it offers for the price and i know that sounds stupid because it's 500 dollars, but when you actually sit down and think about it and look what you get for the price performance wise it's pretty amazing oh yeah um, i mean granted the cpu bump's not that great but <laughs> the <laughs> gpu bump's fucking huge uh Um, let's see. Uh, what was the other? Um, did we go over what, the backwards compatibility performance upgrades? Um, uh, they I know they're doing 4K updates. Uh, but uh, I know the, we didn't talk well, about the texture like filtering helped a shit yeah. ton with those. Yeah, and uh, oh yeah, Halo Three. Halo Three looks awesome. I watched a oh, yeah. video of that. Yeah, it looks really good. And, like uh, it, yeah, go ahead. I was just saying the texture filtering on that because a lot of those 360 games have almost none, mm -hmm. and like a lot of the textures and the levels go from being muddy just clear. It, it's it almost looks like a giant upgrade when in reality it's really not. It's just texture filtering. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy how much it really matters when you when you like see it firsthand. It's it's amazing. Yeah. And uh, I think Metal Gear Rising was also cited as uh, an upgrade in the frame rate. I think it's like 60 fully like locked or something like that uh, yeah, compared to the dynamic uh, resolution maxed on it. Oh, no, that... no, no, that was Rising. Okay, I I thought you meant um, uh, Metal Gear Solid Five. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I, I do hope they patch. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Ground Zeroes because that that's it still is good, but I I like I would like to see it you know up to 1080 or something or Whatever yeah. else, but yeah, like uh, fan to fan looked okay, but they did patch it for PS4 Pro. So, and they did mention um, in the list of upgrades that uh, uh, Ground Zeroes would be enhanced. So it's natural to think that they're gonna try to do it with the Metal Gear games as well. So we'll see. Yeah. Um, and um, shit. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, honestly, lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's kind of got thrown all over the place too because a lot of these reviews, they're they're. God damn it, man! I I, I honestly I can barely stand some of them because I was watching the Windows Sensor one and they were like, "Oh, the original Xbox had a DVD player." I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! And it's like you guys are paid to do this shit. You're fucking paid. You make. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hey, just so is there is there a, a meta score, a Metacritic score for the the console? Oh Jesus, probably it'd probably be like a six, <laughs> a, a sixty. A, yeah. Are you serious? Are they getting that bad? Of fucking well, like you? Wired gave it a seventy or some shit because they're like, there's no games for seventy. There's no <laughs> games. And it's like, what does that have to do with the hardware? Uh, nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's weird to score a console. I, I, I just, I mean, just do pros and cons, and that's it. I mean, it's, it's a weird thing. I don't know. Yeah. Wired, Wired gave it a seventy. Yeah. There was no games. Yeah. Hmm. They, they meant there was no games that were updated, or. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> then they're, they're still waiting for a lot of patches, right? Because it. Yeah, because it's not even launched yet. That's the crazy thing. That's weird, it's like, man. They sh I don't see why they don't do like a review in progress and just talk about it. Well, that's what yeah. IGN did. They did a review in progress. Right. No, I mean, but a lot of these sites are just saying, like, you'll you'll get like halfway through the review and they'll just start talking about the PS4 or Pro's game lineup. It's like, I get it. PS4 is about to have a good year. We all know it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not here to discuss that. We're here to discuss the Xbox One X. But you can't discuss it without talking about the other. It's like, yes, you can. You could easily go, this is what this product does. This is what the games are showing off on. 
Now it's valid to go, you know, this Christmas you don't have a ton of new games to play on it. But going into next year, you're going to have Crackdown so, or Crackdown, um, Sea of Thieves. <laughs> you're going to have a lot of games. Like, it's not like there's mm-hmm. nothing coming. And it's a wasteland. Like, that's that's the myth. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> rant. Just my small rant. <laughs> no, no, it makes sense. I mean, I understand the, the approach. Uh and like we said, we it was it's understandable that they would make that criticism. But I mean, we going for the console itself. It, it, I mean, the hardware itself. It, it's a little bit more. Uh, you had to go more in depth uh, without really going into other stuff. Uh, and you had to understand, you know, what's going on uh, with the hardware. So, I mean, Digital Foundry. If you, if you want a, a good review, that's a good one. Uh, uh, who else reviewed it? That was pretty good. Um, uh, this I, guy, uh, JKB, he does he does uh, reviews. He's, he's his is pretty good. It's more like as a what was it, like a down to earth review, like kind of like like a like a regular Joe was reviewing it. it. Was really good. The only thing I didn't like about the Digital Foundry review is in the end they said that it's not the ultimate 4K media device because the Netflix and YouTube app weren't up to snuff. But it's like Microsoft doesn't have control of that. Yeah, that, that's, that's not, up that's... to Google and Netflix. Uh, yeah, but, so. I could have sworn Tim said the, that they did update it, but I, I don't know. I, I, that's kind of they might have not even released the update yet. Yeah, it's maybe. Like, or you, you never know with uh, Google. Um, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's so, I, I thought the, it's so weird. The Netflix uh, app already updated when the S came out. Not with uh, I, apparently the YouTube app does not on Xbox. No, no, the One Netflix X. app. I thought so, but I don't think it does it. I don't think it supports HDR yet, does it? Well, only if not every uh, show is HDR or yeah. 4K, but it's a it's a show to show basis. It's, it isn't. I mean, everything's upscaled, of course, but I mean, not everything is streamed at 4K because n- not every Netflix show is 4K. There's only a few, you know. Yeah. So, at, and then as far as YouTube goes, Google's kind of and and Microsoft aren't that friendly with each other. Apparently, that's why they're having a hard time getting that Google's stuff. Google's always computer. been a hard ass about. Yeah, I mean, if you if you if you go back and look at when people were asking for like YouTube streaming and stuff like that, basically they say go put it on the fucking feedback website. And anytime it's something like that, that means that it's out of their hands in a way where they, you know, the people kind of got asked for it, which I think is kind of bullshit. I mean. Yeah, well, that's so, like on so Windows weird. Phone when Google refused to release an official app, but would right. literally take down any third-party app. Right. Yeah. I mean, they they had a problem with that with the iPhone at first for the longest time, you know, because yeah. they had you know and their own op, the OS or whatever. Oh, who knows? I don't. I don't understand it. But yeah, I, I don't get the any sort of. I just come to like a business agreement. I mean, it's just it's not like this. Just seems like it's weird, like overhurt feelings or something. It just. Just fucking like it's not pay really for, hurt feelings. Is Google doesn't want anyone out of their ecosystem, and they see, which is kind of odd because you know if you do an official YouTube app, you'd be in their ecosystem. But yeah, and like PS4 is not like you know it, it's it's its own ecosystem. It, it just seems really stupid. Like it's very late, like a uh, straw man argument on Google's part. Yeah, like, well, stupid. it's not like Microsoft doesn't support Google's operating system. They got like. Microsoft has the most downloaded and the most apps, I think, out of anyone on the Android. I know, which is weird. I don't understand that. It's so stupid. Um, speaking of stupid, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the GameSpot review. My God. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've seen oh, it. It's, it's, it's uh, <laughs> not as, yeah, it's not as bad as I thought, but uh, apparently, uh, as far as it's, according to GameSpot, there's almost no improvement to load time for the Xbox One X. Even though fucking Digital Foundry found Witcher 3 to load twice as fast. Uh, and GTA 5 loads twice as fast. And pretty much most of the load time comparisons that I've found have said the games all load twice as fast. Um, yeah, it seems like they just rushed to do the whole review process and they kind of just, you know, pooped it out. Like, I don't know, it, just, it didn't seem really genuine. Like, I don't know, it just seemed like very... That's why I mentioned it, it just it feels like they got a grudge or something. It feels like Microsoft went and stabbed everyone in the back. I don't know. 
Yeah, just so I don't really go there anymore for anything. I'll be, maybe an occasional news item on Google that's like from the speak <laughs> talking about Google, you know, but like yeah, from their uh, Google uh, news thing. But outside of that, like I, I just don't feel like they have well, a let's, good listen, grip. Here's a CNET quote. Xbox One X lays a credible claim to the title of most powerful game console ever, which is fine. I'm for. But it has an uphill battle for your gaming dollar, especially if you already own an original Xbox One. Okay. Um, <laughs> someone who owns an original Xbox One has already made the decision whether or not they're going to buy this. Yeah, you and know? it makes more sense for for somebody who has an OG Xbox One to upgrade because instead of the, all their games know. are going to work. Exactly. Like I don't like this. They they it almost feels like they weren't even listening to Microsoft for the past year and a half or whatever since they announced the Xbox One X. Because Microsoft in the beginning have said that this console is not meant just to come out and replace everything. It's meant to be an option. You know, mm -hmm. they never they never build it as this, you know, going to take over the sales crown from the Xbox One S or anything. They've always been clear that the, the Xbox One S was going to be their standard, standard you know, uh, you know, like it's going to be the one that owns the market basically as far as Xbox goes. Uh you know, because of the price and the skew it fits into. No. Uh, and it almost feels like these this media just, they didn't listen to that or something. Right. Because they talk about it as if, like, you know, the Xbox One X and Xbox One S are competing. Uh, I don't really see how that is a reality. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, no. Uh, well, I mean, don't you, you guys don't think it's gonna sell like a, a, a lot when it comes out? You no, it's not it? good, but it's not gonna sell as well as an Xbox One S well over time. Not until no, it no, gets no. Cheaper. I mean, it won't sell as good over, over. No, I mean, like just at launch. I mean, I, I'm expecting it to do like a few million, like this. This. this oh yeah, year. yeah. <laughs> no, I, of I think, course. Okay. Yeah, I, I expect the X. I mean, this is just me, but I, I expect the X to outpace the S uh, for the launch because S is like. I mean, I'm sure it's cheap and all, but like. It's not as like buzz worthy, you know, and you know it's uh, X is like all in the news and it's been in the news for forever. So uh, I think they will give it a bump. And it also depends on on the supply, you know, that that uh, that it gets all throughout the November time. So it'll be very interesting to see how it fares compared to the Switch and, and the PS4. Not to uh, mention, I think the Xbox One X actually offers a value that seems credible for the price. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Compared to what PS4 Pro was when it launched. You got to remember when the Pro launched, it didn't even, the boost mode didn't even exist, really. Like, it, you didn't, every game didn't get take, take advantage of the hardware. And the games that did, you know, there's barely any that did. Um, yeah, PS4 had a very slow process to getting there. Um, Where is that? Yeah, yeah. Sony still doesn't have an official list of what games are enhanced now. Yeah, that's crazy. You'd think they would have that. You have to go like, to forums for that, unfortunately. Yeah. It's, it's, it's... Did, didn't Jim Ryan come out and say there's like 900 uh, enhanced <laughs> games or something? Good old Jim Ryan. <laughs> basically, basically, there's 900 games that are affected by the boost mode. Oh, God. Which it's is, you know, games, that's... Yeah, yeah that's, it, that's, that's really bad. And I hate how... Some, like the, the Another thing that uh, it's nice about Xbox One X is Microsoft is actually testing all these games to make yeah. sure they work and they don't have major issues. While Sony is basically just saying, you know, if it doesn't work, you turn on boost mode and it crashes, you know, turn off boost mode. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've even used that mode, to be honest with you. I, I just kind of playing it on default. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't make sense to have it as a switch anyway. It should be. It should just be what it is, you know. Mm -hmm. What you get. Um, yeah, but there isn't much else to say about the reviews. I mean, it kind of sucks too because you'd think they would have went into more detail. Uh, Digital Foundry did, but you know, there's only so much more they could talk about other than some of the games and uh, uh, doing the hardware tests and the temperature tests and noise tests and all that. Right. But, um, yeah, know. there's still there's still time, man. Like, there's still uh, over the past couple, you know, over the next couple of weeks. I, I think we'll be getting more detail, more patches, more uh, updates, and stuff like that. So it, it's going to be a, a constant stream of of stuff. It's, it's, so that, that's what I like about it. And 
uh, it, Digital Foundry is definitely going to keep doing these these really interesting testing, and uh, I'll keep an eye out for them, and uh, and we'll see what you know. Are they going to they, did they do the the launch party is on Monday or is it Tuesday? Or is um, it Sunday? Monday. It's Monday, Monday night, I believe. Okay. Do we think are they going to like announce anything, or they're just going to be a regular? Oh, do you mean game wise? Yeah, I think they'll do any tidbits don't or anything. Don't trick yourself into believing they're gonna announce some yeah, shit. Yeah, they're not gonna like announce any games. No, 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 no. Ain't getting yeah. shit, bro. They yeah, just, games yeah, just, <laughs> just you know, just just to see, you know, just maybe feeling they'll out have there. They'll have to you know? give away <laughs> stuff. Yeah, maybe. Um. Yeah, I don't see that. They might announce like they might announce some games that haven't been announced for enhancements yet. No, oh, that's true. They might do that. Um, you know, games that might be confirmed between now and then. Um, let me see. Oh, you know what was one funny thing about the reviews? Uh, like, all the reviews are like, it's too expensive. $500 too expensive, too expensive, too expensive. And then you get to the PC world, and they're like, holy shit, it's 4K for under $500. <laughs> <laughs> it takes yeah. a PC website to go. This is a lot of fucking value for the performance. <laughs> right. Did you guys see the uh, the new Elgato 4K 60 uh, capture card? Uh, 399 yeah. It's not worth the money without 4K, man. I mean... Uh, I'm, no, it is 4K. Just saying. It's 4K 60. No, it's, I mean HDR. Sorry. Oh, okay. It's not worth the money without HDR support. Well, what I'm, what I'm saying is, I mean, that right there, just seeing how much that damn thing costs made me realize... Even more, how much you know, how, how how worth it it is. And even though you know, I I game on the PC a lot. I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm never gonna fucking buy a fucking 4K capture card. That's way too. I could buy. You know what kind of graphics cards you can buy for 400 dollars? You can get like a 1070. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can get a 1070. And that, that's ridiculous. I just wanna uh, throw it out there real cap- quick. <laughs> how do you feel, Steph, about PUBG coming out December 12th? For Xbox, <laughs> uh, I'm I'm very happy for it. To, I mean, I want it to be buy... out right now, of course. But you know, I'm you... I'm more interested to see what kind of what it's going to be when it comes out, like because it's not going to be on par with the PC version. It's going to be. It's going to. I think it's going to start like when I bought P- PUBG on PC. It had already been out for like a month, I think. So I think that. The Xbox version is going to be behind it, you know. I guess probably about a few months. So I'm kind of interested to see where it's going to be at. That's that's my biggest concern because hopefully they got because you know they have to have auto aim and all that shit for the controller and all that good stuff. So I just kind of want to see how they're going to go about that kind of stuff. That's the main thing I'm I'm kind of worried about. But uh, other than that, I'm happy for it to come out. I'm ready to uh, you know trash a couple people people on, on xbox because of course i've been playing this game so much it's only one map but when it comes out on xbox it's gonna be two maps so i kind of know everything already so we'll squad up guys i'll show you the ropes you'll be <laughs> my my uh my new partners that but we'll win because i'm on the team because i'm great i'm great are we all gonna have <laughs> xbox one x's to play it is everybody picking one up i i I am going to try to get one on the day. I had a, a Scorpio pre-order, but <laughs> you're Will convinced me that it. Well, Will convinced me that it was ugly, and I I kept looking at it. and I was like, man, I don't like this fucking gray, pe- polka dot looking stuff. So, I'm gonna try and get one the day it comes out and just go like to Walmart. I I'm just in a Walmart out there. Fucking... If you go to BestBuy.com and go through their online site. You can yeah. still pre-order and get it the same day. Well, I, 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 I hate Best Buy, yeah. and I don't want to deal with their fucking Geek Squad and going up there and getting it. So I'm just going to – I just want to go in and just grab it. Yeah. So I'm going to try and do that. And I kind of – part of me wants to wait. See, this is the thing that I always do. Like, I bought an Xbox One at launch, which I'm glad I did. I got the Day One Edition. Then the Halo came out, and then the Halo One. I wanted that one. Like, mm-hmm. I really like the custom consoles. Like, I, I wanted the Gears Xbox One S, but I couldn't convince myself to pay $400 for that shit when I knew Xbox One X was coming out. So, I want to see. I'm just kind of... See, that's what, this is why I wish they didn't uh, push back uh, Crackdown, because, you know, now I know they're probably going to do a custom console, and I'm going to I'm gonna want that shit. So, I'm not going to buy, like, nine fucking Xbox <laughs> One Xs and, like, Tim Dog. So, I'm just going to get one this time. <laughs> 
and I'm going to be happy with that one. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I know I'm going to get one. If I do get one this year, it's going to be the regular one. It won't be the Scorpio edition because I just don't like that gray looking stuff with the lime green wording on it. I don't know. You made a wise choice stuff. I'm yeah, I'm not, I know I'm not alone in that. There's a, there's a <laughs> lot of people out there that don't. I mean, I'm kind of disappointed I won't get the stand, you know, because I don't think they're going to sell it separately, which is disappointing. That's weird, but I, I don't know. Not I, at first, I'm, at least. Well, yeah. they, just to throw it out there, I saw it on Amazon. There, There's official, well, not official. It's a third-party officially licensed by Microsoft stand for the Xbox One X. It's $14. Oh, so That'll they work. do. So they're selling them. Okay, okay. They're selling oh, yeah. a brand is selling it that is licensed by Microsoft to do it. Yeah. So that means it's it going to have a, a wire. It's going to be a wire on it, like the controllers. It's going to be wired. Yeah. yeah. Next best thing. <laughs> yeah, like like Dustin said, I, I went through Best Buy and I pre-ordered it uh, for the same day uh, delivery at least because I, I have it delivered to my job, so I would I would take it home. But I'm still it's still pending, so unfortunately. Uh, everything's held up, so I, depending on my finances, I might have to cancel it. We'll see, but uh, I mean, I'm sure there'll be more later after that. So I'm, I'm not like I want to get it the first day, but if I can't, you know, you can't. So it's not, it's not like uh, end of the world. Stress over, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pull Eric with real quick. You mean hold up? You mean tell me you gonna get that <laughs> trash PS4 Pro? But you ain't gonna get the Scorpio. Yo. No, no, no. <laughs> Pulling Eric would be going and buying, pre-ordering another one. <laughs> uh, down at yeah. Best Buy. <laughs> he did that shit. Oh god. <laughs> what I you got done, two Eric? Xboxes, and I only want one. <laughs> now I'm not to return one. It's like, well, you shouldn't have pre-ordered two. All right, <laughs> how how could you, Eric? <laughs> that shit was fucking hilarious. I didn't know that they were not. They were gonna actually ship it to me. Well, you ordered it, didn't you? <laughs> Yeah, I remember when he did that. I remember that shit. I forgot about that. He did have two of them. Yeah, that was funny. But didn't he pre-order two Xbox two Xbox One Xs too? Be- because he was afraid he wouldn't get one or some shit like that. No, it was the original Xbox One. If he oh. did it again, they'd be fucking hilarious. Also, so I mean, either way. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm excited to get my Xbox One X. That's all I know. And nothing today has dissuaded me from that. If anything, it's made me more excited to see how good the game... I mean, if if nothing more has happened in the past day, it's shown that Microsoft's... All of what Microsoft said was true. Mm-hmm. You know? They didn't lie about anything. And, yeah, you know, that yeah. it, it's the reality. Like, they really did not lie about it. They What, what they said, they delivered, which is pretty fantastic. Yeah, it's it's a work in progress, but it's it's really promising. So I'm really looking forward to getting one. And you know, they openly admit that. That's the amazing part about it. You know, like so I'm I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, me too. A lot of cool stuff. All right, I think it's time to transition to what you've been playing. We've been talking about Xbox One X a lot. You know, there's not really much more info to go over. So. <laughs> We're gonna move off of that. Um, Will, what you uh, what you been up to, man? What, you, what, those, hmm. those, what about them games? Well, I have been playing uh, a lot of XCOM. The uh, enemy. What's the What's the second one that Enemy's came out? Then? Yeah, that's like the, with the expansion, or whatever. Um, yeah, it's really good for the, It's a back of pat 360 title. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I actually kind of got into it because, interestingly enough, they had a you know those free play days. Um, they had XCOM 2. I uh, tried it out. Oh, I was like, uh, I remember liking this before, so I, I bought it. And that's a great thing, by the way, the free play days. That's it's a good way to hook you in and <laughs> get you to buy the game. So I really like that. So I was playing that, really enjoyed it. And I was like, let me go back to this first XCOM, which I had, and uh, really enjoying that one. So that's, it's a great series. Um, also been playing Forza 6 and 7. Uh, although you, you kind of get burned out <laughs> if you play them back to back. It's it's crazy how how different they are like as far as like just the visuals how improved seven is but you can get burned out on the racing if you if you do both so uh two would moderate you know i would play both in moderation like play maybe one a couple days and the other i don't know but i'm saving seven mostly for the x so it's it's all right 
um, playing Runer. Runer is a really good uh, cyberpunk, like top down twin six shooter. A really good game. Um, and I, let me see what else I've been playing. <clears throat> I mean, as far as, I mean, I got the PS4 and I had uh, gotten a few games on sale. Um, I had gotten Dead Nation, The Sky of Five. I mean, I, I've briefly paid um, Matterfall, which is good. Uh, it's a good twin six shooter. And by the way, House Mark is not doing any more arcade twin six shooter, so that, that kind of sucks. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty a pretty good week. Uh, mostly XCOM though. So, did you try any it's Trackmania my... on Xbox? Uh, Trackmania. Yeah. Yeah, I actually bought that uh, when it was on sale for like I think twenty bucks. Uh, it was a really enjoyable arcade title, it, it, like arcade style title. So if you're into like kind of, it's it's like mixed like of like trials mixed with like arcade racing, which is which is pretty cool, like like stunt racing even so. Uh, yeah, it's really cool, man. That's I really recommend it. All right, Jason, what you been playing? Watch them. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Uh, not really, to be honest. Uh, trying to finish up Drivers Cup and Forza Seven, which I play. Um, I do long races, so it's about um, fifteen minutes a race. So it takes a little while. <laughs> yeah, that's brutal, man. I don't know how you do it. Patience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Game's good though. I. I uh... no, it's really good. What I do you think saw can... someone brought up like the microtransactions thing today, and everyone's like, "Would you guys shut the fuck up about that?" <laughs> it's like they never even added microtransactions to the game. You guys had a heart attack over fucking nothing. Yeah, I know. I mean, uh, what do you guys think the expansions are going to be for? Because I know the other one had the port. Is it think it'll be the same like Porsche expansion? I mean, I know they're in there already, but I have no clue. It'd be great if they did a a dirt track expansion. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Considering the amount of trucks and rally cars they have in this game. And yeah, bugs. yeah, they should expand out a little bit more. Like, like G- Gran Turismo had that cool thing where you can do like this wacky stuff in it, like not anymore. like on the moon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it's a great game though. It's a it's a huge improvement over six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm playing more fractured butthole. Uh, <laughs> uh, nice. You got to the part where. The two Catholic priests meet me in the closet. Uh oh, <laughs> that already sounds. Yeah, sounds, you could yeah. uh, <laughs> figure it out from there. <laughs> nice. That becomes a nice little boss battle sequence kind of thing. How does it compare to the, uh, the other South Park game, uh, Stick, Stick of Truth? Truth. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have the shock value of just how good it is anymore, but mm-hmm. <laughs> it's still really fun. It's just not like there's moment when you look at it and how they do the scenes and the talking and everything mm-hmm. it, it amazes you that it's a video game it really does yeah. yeah it's still crazy but is it my favorite season of south park uh eh, it's a good one but it's not the greatest like it's not but there's something about the stick of truth it had a certain wow factor to it the writing was insanely good this one's a good game. It's just not a great game. I'll put it that way. While Stick of Truth was just an amazing game. Yeah, so you'd say the Stick of Truth kind of set a high bar for, for them? Yes. Yeah, gotcha, and that's gotcha. not to say that it's not worth the money. It's definitely worth every penny, I think. Mm. Especially if you can get it on sale or something now. That, now that it's been out for a little bit. Like, it's pick it up. It's going to be... It's, it's worth it. Yeah, I'll definitely try it out on on my sales. But that's all I've been really playing. Mm, no Minecraft? <coughs> no. You know what? I did mm. play it a little bit. My cousin jumped online. He's the one who originally helped me build most of my worlds. Mm. Nice, nice. Because he, uh, he went to a college out in the no, middle of nowhere, and he would get done, you know, with his classes and we jump online and play Minecraft for like six hours. <laughs> wow, that's a long time. Just building crazy shit. Well, I hope you guys never lose your stuff. Because <laughs> that's a lot of work, man. It's all backed up in the cloud now. 
player. <laughs> it's all backed up. Yeah, that's, that's good. Uh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. That's good. You know, and I have it on my phone. It's nice. To... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It's nice to be able to download your worlds mm -hmm. from a server. It's very convenient. Because that's what yeah. I've been doing. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Can you store it in like a some offline hard drive as yeah. crazy as that sounds? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool. So you could preserve it. Preservation is key. Yes. All right. Is there any... Is Steph, are you back yet? Take it that as a no. That's where they keep the nuclear launch codes. They yeah. put them in a Minecraft map. <laughs> keep it on a phone. Yeah, no that. one would ever think to check the Minecraft map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good... That's a good... Uh, that's a good point. <laughs> that's an awful point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for this week. I know it's a short podcast, normal than what we usually do. We're just a little bit over an hour. But I'm having a hard time talking now. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for oh, Dustin. Uh, I feel better, man. Uh, I know I'm fucking tired as hell. I apologize for that. But, <laughs> but we'll catch y'all next week. Thank you so much. Steph will hopefully close out the show next week. I'm going to make him do it. Yeah, I'm closing out the show. Oh, okay. He's going to leave me out like that. I was trying to find a damn charger. My shit, my I was like, hey, dying, Steph, man. are you back yet? That's all I said. <laughs> I'm back, man. I'm back, motherfucker, and I'm back, and I'm ready to do another hour. Right. No, I can't do all another right. hour. I really want to have a voice. <laughs> all all right, guys. Thank everybody See for you. tuning in to the show. Please write us at letters at xboxuncut.com. We'll be net back next week. We'll be black right. next week or back next week, whichever. Uh, back in black. Back in back black. In black. <laughs> and then we'll fade to black. And then, yeah, yeah. Then we'll fade to black. Yeah, thanks to guys in the chat for uh, showing up as Psychotron, Stargazer, uh, Wolverine, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah we got, some, we got some, some hitters in the chat. What's up, y'all? Yeah, What's yeah. Up, yeah. yeah. Uh, MT, um, M-Tyro, Rails. I don't know. It's, it's a tough to, <laughs> to pronounce. M Tara hey, guys, Rails. Make sure you guys uh, write us and uh, also if you guys want to just like uh, reply to the link that we sent out on Twitter, we'll answer your questions that way. If you're too lazy to email us, yeah, M T A Rails. He, he pronounced it for me. Thank you. All right. Well, peace out, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. We'll see you. All right, guys. Thanks, guys. For, thanks for tuning see in. Have a good weekend and uh, enjoy your future X. <laughs> yes, All right, cool, man. Make sure you post pictures. Yes. <laughs> Ten news. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Bye, guys.